Thank you, Brett. Hello, everyone. It's great to be back at Thompson Rivers University once again after kicking off our annual town hall tour here last night. Uh, I want to thank you for your welcome, uh, Elder Estella. I want to thank you for your beautiful words and your blessing. And I want to thank all the students here. Thank you for sharing with me uh, a, a glimpse into what you did just earlier. And thank you for being here this morning uh, because uh, your hard work uh, and what you are learning right now is going to contribute in significant ways uh, to the economic growth that Canada needs to see by uh, uh, getting uh, great jobs uh, and uh, growing your communities. We wanted to come back today to visit the university's brand new industrial training and technology center. As you know, one of our government's top priorities has been to cement Canada's position as a global leader in innovation. And the first step in achieving that goal is to invest in our students and in their future. Les jeunes savent mieux que quiconque à quel point notre monde change rapidement. C'est certain que la technologie et l'innovation ont complètement transformé notre façon d'apprendre, de travailler et de vivre. Et même si la nouvelle économie présente de nouvelles opportunités, les jeunes Canadiens n'ont pas toujours l'impression d'avoir les outils nécessaires pour saisir ces opportunités. C'est pourquoi notre gouvernement a décidé, décidé d'agir. Nous avons annoncé des nouveaux fonds pour soutenir les collèges et les universités pendant qu'ils continuent à adapter leurs programmes aux réalités changeantes de l'économie actuelle. Here in Kamloops, our government invested more than 13 million dollars to build this industrial training and technology center. Coupled with contributions from the BC government, TRU and other donors, the center opened its doors in September for students to enjoy. And today, I had the chance to see how this project became a reality. With this new state-of-the-art facility, the Trades and Technology Program welcomes 550 additional students and offers new training for in-demand technology and trades professions. It also creates new, dedicated teaching spaces for architectural engineering technology programs. These changes will not only better prepare students for the jobs of tomorrow, but also propel our country forward. After all, the people who work in the trades build Canada. They build our homes, power our offices, and ensure that our water is clean and safe. Every day they repair, modernize, and innovate so communities can thrive. With investments like the one we made here at TRU, our goal is to ensure that the next generation of tradesmen and women have the tools, training, and knowledge to build a better Canada for all Canadians. Today, I had the pleasure of seeing part of this vision come to life here in Kamloops, but I'm even more excited to see what the students will get up to in the year to come. 